Hello, photographers, designers, and other creatives who are freelancers and solopreneurs in this crazy gig economy that we are all trying to navigate to the best of our ability. And then along comes AI technology. Today's conversation, we are going to talk about how creatives can actually use AI to benefit them in their own businesses. Do you currently use AI in your creative business? Hi, I'm Aura McKay. I am the founder of Business of Creativity and your host for Coaching for Creatives. When we start talking about how can AI actually benefit your creative business, a lot of people are getting freaked out that AI technology might mean the end of a lot of creative industries. If we can get ChatGPT to write our blogs, why would we even need a copywriter? If we're able to generate super creative images in something like Mind Journey, why would we ever need a photographer or a designer? Those are really great questions. I was around in the late 1900s when film photography switched into digital photography. And the conversation that we're having right now as creatives really reminds me of that time when we were transitioning from film to digital photography. And here's the deal, folks. AI technology has been here for a while. In fact, many of you may already be using AI tech and not even be realizing that's what's happening. If you're using a tool like Canva, for instance, that uses a lot of AI tech. Photoshop is using and Lightroom are using a lot more AI tech, especially with the content aware tools and the healing brush tools and the select the subject or select the background tools. These are all AI technologies. And some of you might even be using tools like Grammarly to edit your blog posts or to check your emails. And that is an AI tool. For a lot of us, when we're thinking about AI technology, we probably only read the, the headlines that talk about AI being the end of our creative industries. But I'm here to tell you that I don't believe that is the case. Again, do you think that you're using AI in your creative business right now? If so, what kinds of technology? Let me know in the chat. I'd love to hear from you. My main focus with this episode of Coaching for Creatives is to share with you how you can actually use AI to benefit your own creative freelance business. And one of the ways that you can use AI to benefit your creative business is in your workflow. AI is really good at repetitive tasks at doing something again and again, like tagging photos or like cropping images or resizing a bunch of images, batch color correcting. I was at a conference recently, the Canadian Imaging Conference and Exposition in Canmore, Alberta, put on by the Professional Photographers of Canada. And a lot of people were talking about how they were using color correction and batch editing tools to really speed up your workflow. Another way that you can use AI as a benefit in your own creative freelance benefit is productivity. There's a lot of tools out there that can help you stay productive. Things like monday.com or Notion or Asana. These are all tools that use elements of AI to be able to support you in being productive. You can do things like faster editing. Those tools I was talking about earlier, like selecting the background or selecting a subject that can help you get to that end process better or faster. Creating shortcuts within your own process, using AI to train it to do some of those more mundane or repetitive tasks. Third way that I would say that AI can help you with your business is market research, looking for things like keywords, looking for things like trends or hot topics, getting ideas for what a particular audience might want to hear about in your social media or in your captions. 
some AI tools can really help you out and not all AI tools are created equally. Chat GPT, for instance, the free version that you can just get and start playing around with, it's limited to accessing information. I think up to 2020 is when, or might be 2021 is the latest information or trends that it can access. But once you start doing some of the paid AI programs or the paid even chat GBD, you can start accessing the internet. You can start referencing current documents. And of course, whatever you feed it, it will learn from. The last thing I would say is idea generation. And this is the place where most creatives get totally freaked out. And they say, why wouldn't they just stop at the idea and use whatever mid journey spits out for them or whatever they can come up with using an AI tool. There's a few reasons why your clients won't be satisfied with the ideas or the creative output that is generated by artificial intelligence. And a lot of those reasons why have to do with the fact that they are not human, that there's an element of human empathy of our own emotional intelligence, which so far AI hasn't been able to reproduce our own emotional intelligence, our own gut instinct, our own lived human experience changes the way that we interpret and interact with creative outputs. Even if your clients were to start using some of the purely generated by AI ideas, their audiences would start to notice that something just feels a bit off, that it doesn't feel as authentic or as genuine or as real. I believe that there will always be a place for the human interaction and human creativity always might be a strong word, but so far I'm optimistic about there always being a place for human creativity, because right now the output you get from AI depends on the input and it seems to be quite fickle. It will often just make things up to try to fulfill your requests. It makes almost zero claims to being accurate or being effective. There's a lot of the human element where we need to go back in and edit or refine or use the output created by AI as a starting off point. And I do believe that is going to really support our industry where human generated creations and creativity is going to be valued even more as artificial creativity and artificially generated creativity gets to be cheaper and faster and easier. The handmade, the bespoke, the authentic idea, the ability to use AI as another tool of your creative expression will become more and more valuable. That's it. My top four tips on how to use AI in your own creative business, some thoughts and opinions about why AI is still useful and actually might bring more value to lots of creative industries. I'd love to hear your take on it. Are you using AI? How are you using it? What are your thoughts, your fears, your hopes and dreams about it? Thank you for listening to this episode of Coaching for Creatives. I'm Aura McKay, and I look forward to seeing you back here again next time. Mm -hmm.